Welcome back to part two of Bell's Quest. And this level's pretty much over, so all we're doing is walking back home. My sheep are feeling much better. Good for you, Shepard. Boy, Gaston is the strongest, bravest, most... Man, I pushed the button too quick. Oh well. So you got Gaston to do it. You saved the village. Very clever. And you did shit, you baker. Now that you've taken care of the stream, shouldn't you be getting home? It is getting late, you know. Such an odd girl, that bell. Uh, I heard that. <laughs> anyway, this is pretty much at the end of the level. All you have to do is walk left. Um, the birds will still try to kill you, because they're, they're jerks, and uh, they deserve to die. Well, no, they deserve to die. You head left, something happens. Well done, Bell. And that's it. Bell returns home to find that her father, Maurice, has left for the fair with his wood chopping invention. When Philippe returns alone, Bell realizes that something terrible must have happened. Bell rides Philippe into the woods to find her father. But when Philippe is spooked and throws Bell off, she finds herself alone in the dangerous woods. One minute you see snow, the next. Well, not so much. Okay, this level is like a maze. It's like a structured, very maze like, and the only way you're gonna get out is by listening to the guy from part one. Remember, he said yellow rose east, uh, white rose. Wait. No, he said white was east, red was northwest, yellow is north. My bad. I just saw a red rose, so I went northwest. Go left to where the, the left opening is, and go up. And that was a white rose, so you didn't see it. But, uh, holy, this game's moving too fast for my commentary. Yellow goes up, red goes northwest. You gotta watch out for bats and creatures and plants and all these crazy things that just want you dead. Why is everything in this forest evil? Oh well, it's a very short level as you can tell. It can take forever for some people if they don't know what to do and it takes no time at all for me. When you see the castle, just go up. And that's about it. That's level two. Belle happens upon a dark and gloomy castle. She knocks on the huge door. When no one answers, she enters. Cogsworth and Lumiere introduce themselves, and Belle begins to search the castle. She is shocked to find that her father has been locked in the dungeon. Bastard. When a terrible beast appears, she bravely offers to take Maurice's place as his prisoner. The beast accepts her offer, releasing her father and imprisoning Belle in the castle. The beast forbids his servants to feed Belle if she refuses to dine with him, but they disobey his order and treat Belle as an honored guest. And how do they treat Belle as an honored guest? By trying to kill her! <laughs> well, I'm kidding, but that this is what the minigame is. You're supposed to last until you get hit three times. The more spoons and forks and kitchen utensils that fly by, the more points you get. It's another minigame, kind of like the, the collecting the books in the bookstore. Remember, it ends when you get hit three times, so if you get bored of it, because you're too good, you might want to just run into them on purpose. Or maybe it does end, I don't know, I always got hit three times. But yeah, fun guys! This is how you treat your guests? Throwing knives at their fucking back? Jesus. <laughs> so you gotta duck and jump and maneuver, and I was pretty good today. I was on a roll. And the plate got me. I got a good point score. Unfortunately, this is the Sega Genesis, and they can't seem to afford the actual son. They can't put it into the actual game, so they got a meaty version. And you get to watch stills of the big musical number, Be Our Guest. Woohoo! Bell wants to explore the castle. Cogsworth and Lumiere beg her to obey the Beast's order to stay out of the West Wing. But once they are gone, her curiosity gets the better of her, and she enters the West Wing. Jesus. You know, Belle, maybe you should, I don't know, not go where people tell you not to go. 
Believe me, that's not a trait you want to pass on. Alright, so this is another kind of maze-like area, and unlike the forest, you don't have an actual direction of where you're supposed to be going. The West Wing is very, very big, and there's keys all over the place. You find them on the ground, and you pick them up with the C button, but they're also in drawers, as you'll see here. A lot of people don't notice that, uh, didn't know that, and so they tend to get stuck in this area because... Well... Oh, and uh, that's a torch. I picked up that torch because later in the West Wing there's going to be an area that's black, and I can't go in unless I have a light. So it's best to go to the left first to save you time, pick up the torch, and now you'll be able to go wherever you want. So if you start off right, you're going to have a much longer journey. Just start off left. But a lot of people get stuck here because they don't know that uh, keys can appear in the most peculiar places. They can appear in paintings, they can appear in um, drawers. They can't appear in the, the the armor of knights that you walk by, even though they look at you and you'd think they uh, are important. But yeah, people get stuck in here because uh, they don't know that you can dig around in the paintings. Even I was surprised the first time, because I was wandering, looking for keys, and I just didn't know where the hell the other keys were, because I was like, stuck for a while, and you'll see eventually, they're, they're even in the paintings, which is screwed up. So, push C when they come up to a painting. Not everyone's gonna have a key, but, uh, you know, blah. And sorry I didn't read that, but uh, that was Lumiere, and he says, You shouldn't be here, Belle. I told you, this is the West Wing, you're forbidden, blah, blah, blah. Basically, he kicks you right to the beginning of the stage. You don't lose your keys, you don't have to unlock doors again, but, uh, there's the key! Yeah, you don't have to unlock anything again, it's just, uh, he kicks you back to the start, so if you run into Lumiere or Cogsworth, and they're only in two rooms in the whole level, then they kick you back, because, you know, they're pussies when it comes to the beast. Apparently they think the beast is going to tear them apart. <laughs> oh god. And this is pretty much the level. You just go around uh, finding keys, going further. The whole point of this level is to get into Beast's room to find his magical rose. And uh, there's mice and bats everywhere. Again, when you see mice, jump. When you see bats, duck. Sometimes they're being hidden by the stupid uh, foreground animations, like the stupid curtains that are in the way. Bats can hide behind those, so sometimes you don't even see them coming. It's really annoying. No one is allowed in the West Wing! It is forbidden! I have a great Cogsworth impression. And uh, if people are wondering, uh, am I going to do a Roar of the Beast playthrough? Um, well, I didn't play Roar of the Beast when I was a child. I mean, I played a little bit of it. I remember my cousin borrowed it from somebody once. And, uh, needless to say, we couldn't pass the second level because Roar of the Beast is surprisingly difficult. I mean, th those snakes and shit can be pounced in one hit, but man, it's just non it's just a big onslaught. You just get killed and killed and killed. And I'm, I, don't, I don't mind difficult games. It's just, again... This one was really... I haven't really played it in my childhood, I don't know much about it, and uh, I don't think it's my place to do a playthrough. I mean, I could do a blind one where I try to beat it for you, but uh, I might get 10,000 game overs, and I don't think that'd be very interesting to watch. <laughs> of course, I could edit them out, but regardless. Also, I find Roar of the Beast really repetitive and kind of boring. I find Bell's Quest is actually a better game than Roar of the Beast. Call me crazy! But Roar of the Beast, it's like, you go around in an environment that looks exactly like this. Oh, and uh, that's the Beast's room. I can't get in with a normal key, I have to find a special key. But anyway, in Roar of the Beast, you got all these rooms that just look so damn identical. They look exactly like this room, and all you do is you go right and it looks the same, and you go left and it looks the same, and it's just, it's so boring. You just kill snakes, kill snakes, kill snakes. Anyway, I'm at the balcony, and uh, I'm gonna cut it off. We'll see you in part three.